hi guys i'm nelly kamau and welcome back to my channel and today i am going to be showing you guys how or rather telling or rather teaching you guys how to look bougie or expensive on a budget i decided to do this video because i've had so many people ask me like hey where do you buy your clothes because they kind of look so expensive and really most of my nice clothes are not expensive they mostly range from like 1700 to like 2000 2000 is like the max i can go on a dress because i'm still broke and i'm not really working so yeah also the only thing that makes them look some others because sometimes i'm usually wearing like really cheap clothes but what i do is i know how to match them or like what to wear with those clothes so that they can look kind of expensive and that's what i am going to be teaching you guys today okay so um so first and foremost when you want if you want to look expensive you have to maintain neutral colors and patterns if you go for like really weird crazy shouting out their patterns this this patterns usually make clothes look cheap and not really any flattering so make sure your clothes range from like uh nude shades to like black or white or really just new shades of colors just don't make them like screaming shouting colors that won't make you look any expensive expensive people or other people who have expensive tastes go for just neutral colors when it comes to makeup just don't don't be having like weird shades of like eyeshadow like shouting blue or yellow or stuff like that and also when it comes to nails your nails should be like either 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 make sure you have like a neutral color as i said or red red nail polish like this just it kind of looks expensive i don't know just red lips red nails just take you to another level of expensive looking i don't know red just makes you look so much better and kind of a little bit expensive it's like a statement color so if you have to do any shouting colors just do red but don't make them like shouting especially if you're dark if you're a dark person if you want to go for red i suggest to go for like a dark red or like a maroon but not like a really shouting red you get when it comes to handbags i suggest that you invest in good designer bags or if it's not like an original designer bag just buy something that is like clearly defined not like those chunky handbags that you really don't know like what's happening go for like a clearly like defined handbag you know and if it's fake just don't go for like the the ones that look completely fake like i'm gonna show you for example this everybody knows this is not a michael course bag like i don't even know what i was thinking when i was buying this stuff <laughs> and actually all these things i'm going to be giving you examples from my closet and lessons that i've learned so far so that you can see i mean it, life is just a learning process nobody has their shit all together so this is it has the michael course label but honestly really i don't really think michael course makes these kinds of bags but <laughs> If you look at a bag like this, it's clearly defined. It's it's called Suji Valojusha. Please don't come for me in the comment section. I don't know how to spell this, but yeah, it's a clearly defined bag and it looks classy. It actually is expensive and it makes you look expensive. So even if you're wearing something like completely basic and you throw on a bag like this, it just takes your outfit to like a whole new level. So make sure you have like clearly defined bags and invest in a good one really bags and shoes are just those kind of things that you can't fake it if it's if it's not expensive it just shows and yeah uh when it comes to shoes um you know this pointed kind of heels like this ones This kind of shoes just make you look expensive compared to like platform shoes. You know, platform shoes just, I don't know, they just look cheap and they look like you want to be, like you're a wannabe, you know. So maybe like pointed shoes or like strap shoes, strap shoes like this make you kind of look 
really expensive so make sure you invest in like a good pair of shoes and a good pair of no and a good handbag this kind of <laughs> go without saying that you're kind of expensive but make sure you just don't have kenya uniform when it comes to like dresses you, okay i'm going to just show you guys probably a video right here of a dress i have that's kenya uniform if i can find one i don't know i'll insert it here but i think if you're a kenyan you know what kenya uniform is just don't go for those things those clothes those shoes those shiny shoes that are just weird i don't know you you know what i mean by kenya uniform so please don't go for kenya uniforms it just make you look so basic and common i know i'm all for promoting kenyan talent and all that stuff but really kenya uniform doesn't flatter anyone so yeah when it comes to like earrings i suggest that you do like pretty not really small but depending on your taste most people okay some people prefer gold stuff and other people prefer silver even though the gold is like gold coated because they can't really afford gold earrings just go for like simple gold coated or silver earrings and when it comes to hoops probably go for the the ones that are a little bit thick don't go for the thin ones that are like they just they just look i don't know if you want to do hoops i suggest you do this kind they are like a little bit thick and they're shiny they don't look basic they don't look cheap and they kind of look nice and flattery so yeah if you want to do like diamonds don't go for the obviously fake ones you know there's some earrings such as like i those things even look plastic you know so go for the small diamond studs or this kind of gold plated ones coated ones or if you have to do hoops do thick hoops don't do thin hoops and excessively big ones you know what i mean when you're doing dresses i suggest you go for really thick ones like by the some of the dresses i have are not really expensive like this one that i have on was i think 1500 and the the, the only thing that makes it look expensive is probably because it's unique and also it has a really thick material when you go for thin material it just also shows like just exactly how your body is if you have like love handles you just puts them out there but thick material dresses kind of hold your sheet together and you just i don't know you look sophisticated in some way so make sure you go for thick material dresses also remember please don't go for kenya uniform that's like my number one thing for blouses most people most people who dress actually expensive and like us who are trying to look expensive go for chiffon dresses or no go for chiffon tops when you when you when you like wear a chiffon top together with any type of dress ah, any type of skirt sorry or any type of trouser i don't know it just makes you look expensive because imagine if you had like a chiffon top and a leather skirt and strapped are they called strapped strapped shoes what did they call them no <laughs> i mean this kind of shoes i just forgot the name yeah you'll just look so expensive yo try it out when it comes to dresses just go for either not really dark colors but neutral colors don't go for shouting colors and by shouting colors i mean like neon i'm not saying like don't wear a yellow dress i'm just saying don't wear like a neon neon green kind of dress or something that just makes you it just shouts green ah it shouts cheap i'm sorry so go for neutral colors or dark heavy colors that just makes you look expensive when it comes to watches i think a watch is something that you should also invent invest in i think when you see someone with like this watch is uh, 200 bob you can like tell from a mile away that's like a really cheap watch invest in an expensive watch because it's kind of a really important accessory and it takes your outfit to a another level like i've had people on instagram who just look at my whole <laughs> someone who probably has seen my whole outfit but the one thing they notice is like the watch i'm wearing 
or something like that i have another watch right there but yeah make sure you invest in a good watch too it kind of makes you look expensive if you're the kind of people who don't do natural hair like i do by the way i <laughs> this is a twist out that i did last night i just twisted out my hair i slept with it like that and then and then i woke up and i undid the twist so if you want me to do a video on this because i think they turned out really pretty cute uh make sure you mention it down in the comment section so if you're the kind of person who doesn't do natural hair like i do make sure that if you're doing a wave make sure it's slicked down really nicely you can also do a bun or a ponytail that makes you look expensive but if you just i don't know some hairstyles just make you scream cheap or like you're a wannabe and some of those hairstyles just they're not flattering at all so if you want to look expensive make sure your weave is either slicked down or it's in a ponytail or it's in a bun when it comes to perfume i have no hatred or i have no negative feelings for the waria but like usinunue perfume waria honestly I don't even know how much these perfumes cost. I don't know if they are expensive or not. But they just, I don't know, they, I just have a feeling, not I have a feeling, but I usually think those things are cheap. And they're not going to make you, <laughs> they kind of, like you would probably be, someone would see you from like very far and your outfit is probably popping. But then when you come close to them and they smell you and you have that kind of a perfume, it just takes the whole perception that they had of you away and you just look like a cheap person i'm just saying invest in a good perfume when i go perfume shopping i go like i could probably spend an hour perfume shopping because i have to smell like and make sure that smell doesn't smell like someone i've ever smelled like it doesn't smell cheap you know those kind of perfumes that you just know you can just smell and you know they smell cheap like those kind of perfumes when you were in high school, so many people had that perfume. You know, they're just those perfumes that you smelled on Askiatu Zikinuka high school. Just don't go for those kind of perfumes. Go for unique perfumes. I would have told you guys the one I used, but then now we're probably going to be five people smelling the same. So I'm not. But invest in a good perfume. Make sure you take your time perfume shopping so that you kind of smell expensive, you know? When it comes to sunglasses, make sure you have um, statement glasses. I don't know what kind of sunglasses you may probably like, but make sure they look statement e, and probably if they can be unique, the better. Just make sure they kind of make you look popping and they don't look so cheap. For example, I think they kind of look cute. Oh my god, you guys can see my window and stuff in front of me. Anyway, uh, yeah. In short, invest in a good pair of glasses. When you're going to wear t-shirts, you know that those times where you just feel like you want to be simple, probably you're going somewhere where you don't really have to dress up and stuff, make sure that you tuck in your t-shirts. I don't know, when, when you just let them loose, it just makes you look basic, but when you tuck in your t-shirt, even if you're just wearing t-shirt and jeans, make sure you have like a really nice belt. Now, this any Kenya uniform belt, I mean like a really nice belt. Tuck in your tuck in your shirt. Yeah, tuck in, make sure you tuck in your shirt and please 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 do not wear brand or rather like logo. Not brand, but don't wear logo t shirts. You see these t shirts that on and they're written like C C like the Coco Chanel like in big letters on your book right here or like any of those I know i know you guys know what i'm talking about if you wanna look expensive please even if you don't want to look expensive just don't wear logo t-shirts those things just they make my eyes tired so please for your sake and for my sake do not wear logo t-shirts for the best of this world betterment of this world they meant if you're going to buy jackets make sure you have a leather jacket 
just whatever you do just make sure in your closet you have a leather jacket whether it's fake or real just make sure you have a leather jacket um i think investing in a really good jacket that's going to last long makes sure you when you wear it no like when you invest in a really good jacket it makes you look expensive just no basic jackets just a really nice cute one and you're good to go so my major points are just don't wear kenya uniform wear thick material stuff and don't wear brand logos at any cost so even if you're like even if you go ahead and get all this stuff that i've told you if you don't have the confidence to match up your style you're really not going to be doing yourself any good because um you might be wearing like really nice things but then if you're not confident and confident and you walk while well, you're like sloppy and sl slouching yeah uh you're not going to do yourself any good so make sure that you're confident even when you're walking around when you're slaying just make sure your confidence is up there also watch your manners okay i know some some of those people who dress expensive and rich people some of them are really arrogant and stuff but then it doesn't do you any good if you if you don't have any if you don't have morals and good standards like you may be dressing expensive but then like you have hoish tendencies like that doesn't do you any good make sure you watch your manners please also make sure as much as you can that you cover up like don't be out here showing like like your boobs are all out or like your slit is up to your cooch cooch just make sure that if you have to show just like show your your shoulders if you have to just show a little a little bit of cleavage just don't do shit that's like up to your stomach and if you have to just make sure your boobs are in place like don't have your boobs like this fucking staring at us you know you guys when you're going out or when you're going to a party and you have to be in something that's sequency sequency stuff sequence stuff is like shiny glittery stuff just make sure that it's not all glittery and like all shiny make sure it's like now how would i say this make sure it's kind of it has sequence but like not all over like not the whole dress is like shiny and stuff it just makes this it just makes your outfit look cheap and not expensive at all at all costs avoid animal print unless you're wearing a fur coat that's made out of leopard skin avoid animal prints whether it may be like t-shirts or trousers or anything apart from a fur coat should not be animal print that's just animal prints just i don't know they just make things look cheap and that's my opinion so if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up remember to share and subscribe if you haven't subscribed please remember to it helps me out a lot also remember to share this video with your friends and let's grow our family and if you have any suggestions or videos that you may want me to do make sure you comment down below and i will definitely hook you up so till next time bye